So what's up guys, and I'm back with some more League of Legends. Uh, this time I did get put to top lane, I put mid as my primary, but I did get filled in uh, my secondary role, which is okay. Can't complain too much, I guess it's better than support, at least for playing it. Maybe, maybe viewing it supports better, but fuck me, I cannot stand playing it sometimes. Um, it looks like we are against an Alawi um, in the top lane, so... I honestly don't know what the current meta is for top. I knew around Worlds it was pretty much Aatrox and Urgot who dominated this scene, but around pre or now after this patch, I just I don't see Urgot that all that often. Do you get a poppy jungle? Something you don't see all too often. Guess we'll play it out. Uh, honestly, I might go Kale. I don't, I don't know how good she is per se, but I, I really like the I like playing her a lot. So that might be where we, what we go with. We do get a Nocturne. See if I go Kale, I have the ranged matchup, so I can beat the Alawi, and I can also shield Kaisa with my ultimate if needed. Darius is uh, but I don't know how well he does into Alawi. Could go Yas. I think I'm gonna go Kale. Into the fray. Yeah, I'm gonna go Kale, cause why not? Uh, I'm gonna check out the old runes on her. Yeah, I, I don't think this will be too bad. Into the Alawi. I think I'll be okay. So we go press the attack, triumph, alacrity. Um, we do go mana flow band, surprisingly. So there we go. I'm um, gonna go iron and, ke and keister, I would assume. So, yeah. Oh, they do have a Triss, so this will be interesting. Okay. So welcome to the game. Uh, we are, again, playing Kale Top Minions into the Alawi matchup. Um, as you noticed, I do have some new graphics on the screen, so please let me know what you think about that. I saw that on a YouTube video. I figured out how to do it. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty sweet. I spent a little time on it, so uh, if you think it looks pretty sweet. Please give a like, comment, say something, sub, all of the above. Um, and also make sure to check out my Twitch stream. Uh, it is linked in the description of all videos from now on. And I will probably be doing that over the weekends only as it's kind of easier for me. I'm still in school, so I have to, it's a little, little easier, less, uh, less busy during that time. So we do have the ranged matchup with Kale, which is nice, honestly, because I don't have to deal with her poke as much. That and ideally with the ranged matchup, I'm gonna miss that CS. With the ranged matchup, um, I'll be able to secure a little more CS and bully her a little more, rather than the other way around. I know Kayla isn't necessarily a popular champion in the meta, but I do think that she's one of the one of the better top laners if you get to know how to play her. I can't say as if I'm necessarily a Kale main or player, I've, but she was the first champion I actually bought in this game. So she does hold a special spot in my heart. But her freaking immunity, man, the ultimate, it's it's crazy. If you wanna just Say ah uh, no to the assassins. Yeah, you totally can. Kale's your man or a woman. So the reason I took that fight there was because whenever you, so obviously the minions, minion damage first of all. First, but no. some allowies whenever they eat you, you either have to you either have to run away, or you have to. Um, you have to fight them 
Now, most Alawi is just kind of expect you to roll over and die. But when I fight her there with the minions, the damage evens out. So you just gotta make sure, like there, I kind of messed up. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing there. <laughs> that was ending. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. So I, I guess she wasn't expecting my W. I don't know. Or she just doesn't respect my damage. But yeah, I accidentally did get hit by her uh, Q there. Like my uh, spirit did, and I did, which isn't good. If we, get a good. if we get a kill off on her here, she will be so fucking tilted. Not that I can blame her. She doesn't have flash. I see. GJ. I flashed there because I didn't know she was going to get it, and I knew that I could get into melee range. Because my E wasn't up. But I knew I could get into melee range if I had to, and I didn't know if she was actually going to be able to kill her. So, just wanted to make sure. I wasn't trying to chaos or anything dumb. I am going to clear up these uh, little hentai tentacles. Put them in the back. Clear these out so she has to spawn more. I don't want her to have just free damage. And of course, you know, that 5 gold is crazy. I need it. Uh, so we do go with the, pretty sure it's Stinger first, like 90% sure. Uh, I'm not going to teleport back, waves push then, I miss nothing by not teleporting. And I'll miss a couple of minions here probably. As I said, I mean, as of course I say that I miss something. I'm going to check out bot lane. Do you have kills on both the AD carries with the supports dying in both lanes? And one kill, one death for the Blanc to the one kill Akali. Not too bad. So we, so we are ahead here, obviously. Um, killing the Alawi twice off the repeat gank. And I do have level 6 now, so she basically, if I time it right, can will pretty much not damage me at all. An enemy has been slain. Practically untouchable. Because as soon as she ults, I just press R on myself and she just, it's like, yeah, no, you're not doing damage to me at all. So now we just gotta dodge the spirit pulls and dodge her cues and we're good. So you'll notice now she's starting to play back. How was I like, run into that? Yeah, I'll notice she'll play back a little bit. Clear out the tentacles again. Don't want her to have free damage. Get her E back up. I'm just gonna shove this. So that wasn't good. I should have ran with that one. Look at that counter. None of the tentacles. Okay, that one swung. Didn't hit me. Stand in the middle of the lane, far away from all the walls, and you'll be just fine. Dodge the Q. Just enough to get our, our three hits for the, um, press the attack. As soon as we get the ring to proc, we're okay with backing off. An ally has been slain. Smack the tentacles. Can't really fight her under tower as she does. If slain. she pulls me, she has two tentacles to feed her damage off of, and if she ults, she'll have three at least. Yeah, like that. So I do not want to get hit by that. It's like the last thing I want to do. Get a ward down. I'm gonna let that minion push up. Won't hit the tower, but it it'll stall my wave. Give it. Put it to me on my side. This right here is a little safer. You'll see she has no tentacles around. A little safer for me. And if I get ganked, not that I necessarily think I'd die. I mean, Nocturne's pure damage has no CC outside of his fear. Even then, I still have a. Uh... So I am going 
gonna take this fight. Yeah, she flashes again. Just not respecting my damage. Even if Nocturne counters, I'll turn it. An ally has been slain. Yep, we are a really good gank. So she did back, you'll see the tentacles all uh, shrink down and disappear. Shut down. Pretty much means you can kill him now. We'll back again, and this time um, I may actually have a TP in the bot lane. There is a ward there, I don't know if it's warded. Or Kai says ultimate, she'll probably go in. So there we go. Calling a flash. Yeah. Allow we no F. Gonna go ahead and type that. Just gonna. There we go. Just gonna mute them. Don't want. Uh, I don't care for my my teammates typing in chat. It actually tilts me. I know it sounds dumb as hell, and it kind of is, but pe people just typing, in general, just kind of tilts me. Like information, like if you want to tell me that someone doesn't have their flash most of the time. Okay, I can't fight that. Yep. Just gonna back off. Just gonna back off. Take my spirit with me. Ooh, so actually you don't want to destroy these. An enemy has and the been reason seen. why is because by by destroying that, another one will spawn on the tower. As long as you don't hit it and don't kill it. It can't, it doesn't, uh, it only will hit you once. At least it did there. So that way I don't have to worry about it. Dude, pay out her key. You go ahead and kill the tentacles again. Don't want her to get free damage. Drop the control ward down so we are, I mean, not that it'll protect us from Nocturne too much, but it does help us against the Akali. Again, just gonna... Very aggressive Alawi, and yet she's getting punished for it. It's kind of funny. Enemy killing back off. It's mid. We're good. Nocturne is on a killing spree. Has a nice little bounty for us. I was gonna say I don't, I don't think I can really help them there. So I'm just gonna keep healing myself. Uh, Okina.gg says to max W second. I, I prefer the stronger slow on Q, especially when I'm whenever I'm in the ranged matchup or like when I'm in a melee against range. I want to be able to chase her down. I don't want her to be able to run away from me. So we are in a good spot to dive. Poppy's full HP and I've got my ultimate. Yeah, keep going. Go, 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 I have my ulti. Got ulti. That was a little dumb. It kinda went, I kinda just wanted her to dive. I think we could have done it. Gonna hit these. Rampage. I can flash that. He flashes when he dies. So I, I, I was a little dumb there. I did get a little close to her tentacles, but in the and end, it doesn't really matter. Right, I'm gonna check OP.GG again. So you do go the Gensus. That's what I thought. Um, let me grab those Gensus. I am gonna match the TP to top lane. So 
So she does TP, and my ultimate's back here soon. 60, uh, only a minute cooldown for invulnerability. I love it. Also, my E splash damage constantly proccing her. Uh, what is that? That's bone plating. Yeah, constantly proccing that. That takes away some of her tankiness. Just gonna go and kill the tentacles. Does looks like she's gonna come down and ward that. Not that it really matters, because I mean we're not at that point yet. We're not we're not like diving here back there. That's kind of just like a very safe ward to get. That wasn't very smart. Um. Getting hit by that wasn't good. I'm just gonna mute the team. Whatever. I, I, I just don't. I don't care if I'm talking. Every time I think, nah, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, it does bother me. An ally has been slain. Do you want to thank uh, the new subs? I've gotten a small influx, but a welcome one. So thank you guys for subbing. It really does keep me motivated. Um, I'm gonna run away from that. Nothing can hit me. Just kidding. Just kidding! <laughs> of course, as soon as I say it, I really do be like that. I actually wonder if she's gonna attempt to kill me. Because she can make a very good attempt. Oh, I didn't time it right. Yeah, I don't. I think she knows that she can't dive me. That or she's just gonna disrespect me and see how much she's gonna hide right there. That uh, tentacle is still alive. Like, if I walk up to that bush, she's gonna eat me, so I'm just gonna hide behind the minion wave. And she's gonna pop out. Oh, no. Is she back? I think she might have backed. Wow, I'm surprised. Alright, well, she's back. I'll, backing all back. Gonna head and. Gonna go ahead and grab the, uh. Longbow. Not longbow, recurve bow. Longbow destiny right there. Uh, grab another control ward. She's ha she hasn't cleared that surprisingly. Um, so finish out that Q max. Surprisingly, only one turret's falling. Rampage. And somehow bots losing. Four two Kaisa and she's not shitting all over anybody. What is this? Mid lane's doing good though. Fortunately for us, LeBlanc's doing pretty good. Oh, just kidding. No, she's not. Talking out my ass. Let me go ahead and get rid of the old. You have seen yeah. She fucked up there. She has to respect my ultimate. Unstoppable. That, that is the nice thing about playing Kale and like people like Rise and whatnot. Uh, you you don't they don't respect you. Then when you shit all over them and they're like, whoa, what what was that? Kale Kale doesn't do that much damage. It's like, well, she does. You just never see her, so you don't respect it. Especially whenever you're allowed and you're just used to pressing R and killing everything. So you do get the tower for that, and we're we have a solid lead. Like we're two o two. Haven't died yet. Got the tower. Poppy did help us out um, early on, though. It was definitely a very welcome surprise for us. And I, I think... I think I might go bot. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, Kaiser's gonna be down there. The only reason I say that is because I think I could 1v2, but she is 3-3. Three and three. So, maybe. Just maybe. It's 
still got a four. four <laughs> he's, he's just casually five and two. I wonder if, like if, if she like this. This is what tilts me whenever I play AD. If she had those five kills, or even if he only KS one or two. That's the difference between a win, a one game and a loss. Kaisa can spread her lead a lot easier. Kaisa can just utilize her lead a lot more. Like, what's a Thresh gonna do? Like, yeah, maybe get some, some more support items, but. That's not worth your AD carry, being able to shit all over them. I think I'm gonna. Ooh, we do see not turning. Uh, I'm gonna take the fear here. Ooh. A little unlucky that Akali is there. I had, I had, okay, had I known Akali was going to be there, I wouldn't have went for that. I did not see it. Hopefully we can get something though. We did trade one for two, and we got the Rift Herald. Uh, that is an Alawi teleport. She killed herself. Kaisa shits on him. That was a bad whiff from the Akali. She totally whiffed her execution portion of the ult. That's a move. So, knowing what we got now, they don't need me. They've got three of them dead. I'm, I have faith in my team that they can 4v2. You know, it might be a little, a little too much pressure for my solo queue teammates, but I think we'll be okay. And we're just going to beat the shit out of this tower now. Got that attack speed stacking. It does apply my E twice. Ooh, I should have W'd sooner. W's got a 9 second cooldown. That's unlucky. He shouldn't have been able to do that. The only reason he was able to do that was because he got the, uh, he got the fear off on me. And I do apologize again for cutting guys off. I need to check the build again. It goes wit's end. Surprise wits in, but okay. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Um, so we I was gonna actually go Renons, but wits end. I guess it makes sense. You get the Shut get down. magic disc you get the magic resistance and you get the attack speed that you want, plus taking Your their MR. That's good. So we're just gonna run our way uh, yeah. I think I need to go top. Top's kind of pushing in. I'm pretty sure they can match this. Yeah, they're they're three on three. Three on four, maybe. Same difference. So now Lowy definitely cannot 1v1 me. Now that I've got Gensu's. Don't have Gensu's. Like, what are you doing? You don't have Ginsu's, you're, you're 1v3, what are you doing? You, you can't do anything there. Um, so I am here for the Akali, so if either one of us get Dove on, or not the Akali, the Kai'Sa, if they go on to her, or someone tries to go on to me, I am quite capable of just ulting in. They just stay alive. Oh, so you see, I got that assist. If I, I, I if you see my heals on cooldown, I just heal the, uh, I heal one of them, and that counts as an assist since they damage them off of my heal. She can kite me. Do not get attack range. That would have been a solid hook if there were minions there. Um, kind of pointless for us to run up here. Yeah, he saved me from damage. Shut down. I'm gonna back off. 
now. Uh, so I do go down. Kais is still alive. Kais is dead. Oh, man. Yes. That's what we want to see. There we go. Uh, with Whitson, I also get MR, so uh, Kali won't be able to just shit on me like she just did. Actually, turning into a pretty good game, I think. Uh, we got we got the the kill lead. We, we're taking towers. Um, someone, uh, someone being me, uh, needs to be taking the side towers. I both of them are about equal in HP, so I'm just gonna go for the bot one. Or are we going for? I guess LeBlanc's going to do that, so then I'll go top. I am close to getting my level 3 ultimate. Doesn't really do much. The only difference between level 1 and 3 ultimate is the cooldown and her... Um, and the length. You, but you, gain, you only gain 1 second. But I guess I say that, like, 1 second's the difference between life and death sometimes. I'm just going to come down here and pop this. So my... TP is up for this next uh, Infernal. I kind of just need to watch out for Akali, because we did see her top. Nocturne's up here too. Gonna heal for the, uh, the movement speed. He's back off. He's No, he's up here. You should be getting that. Yeah, yeah. it's way more important that they get this and I keep them occupied up here. They have no business coming up here. Dominating. Shouldn't have flashed. Should have just died. I guess I expected them to kind of just finish off the bar quicker. Or not the bar, the knockdown quicker. And rotate sooner, but. Whatever. So, Lowey does ultimate, but it doesn't matter. We had a 10 and, 10 and 2 Kaisa before that. She's just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Do you have. A little bit of MR, nothing too crazy, but en enough to kind of just knock you one shot by uh, the Akali uh, bot lane or bot uh, Poppy and LeBlanc did take Infernal, so that's good for us. We're gonna scale pretty well, and they're taking the bot tower while we while we trade one for three. Like, I'll, I'll die for my team to do that. Like, whatever. Team has the almost kills himself there. Um, I do need to go top again. I mean, we need to take this tower. I'm trying to set up an ambush. Um, LeBlanc, I don't know if she she can't one shot people. Nope, I think they saw. Oh nope, good game. All right, I can't believe they forfeit that. But they did. A little impressive, but fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, uh, that was a good game. That was a good game. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the Poppy. Uh, Pop Poppy kind of set my lane up, which is really nice. Poppy set me up. So I did wind up going negative in KDA, but we did pretty well. Um, kind of kept them off of us um, for the most part. I did, I mean, I had the one ulti on the Kai'Sa. I was kind of expecting it more team fights, um, but we kind of just won through splitting, getting objectives and all that. Um, let's check damage. Yeah, second highest damage. I'll take it. That's not too bad considering only 1v1 for the most part. Good Kai'Sa carry. Overall, a very good game. Uh, if you did enjoy this uh, this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and check out the Twitch stream down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see